Yeah, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank the SLMA and the president of the SLMA, Dr. Padma Gunaratna, and also the chairperson of the Health Management Committee of the SLMA for giving uh, me this opportunity to talk about general practice or family medicine on behalf of the College of uh, General Practitioners. Uh, I am a council member of the College of uh, General Practitioners and also a member of the Faculty of Teachers and also a member of the Board of Study. So I think now uh, you all have listened to all the other presentations and I'm here to tell you all why you should uh, take up uh, general practice or family medicine. I think um, now you're at a, a crucial uh, stage in life where you have uh, finished your internship and you're at a point where you have to uh, select your career pathway. Uh, so I think uh, it's important that uh, you uh, decide when you're deciding, when you're making a decision as to uh, which speciality you're choosing. It's very important that uh, you are happy in that, whatever the speciality that you are going to choose and you're comfortable in that and that you're able to manage your career pathway as well as your family life. Uh, can I have the next slide, please? Next slide, please. So I'm here to tell why you should become a general practitioner or a family physician. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Yeah. So who is a general practitioner or a family physician? So it's a doctor who gives personal, primary and continuing holistic care to maybe an individual or to his family or to a particular practice population in a particular area. So the GP, the family physician, will be the first contact doctor. So it could be in the uh, setup where in your private uh, practice or in an OPD setup in a government or private hospital or in a primary care unit, or it could be even to the extent of a home visit. Next slide, please. Can I have the next slide, please? Yeah. So uh, when you talk about general uh, practice or family medicine, it's a speciality in breath and not in depth. Uh, why I say this is that it's a speciality where, uh, uh, which requires a wide knowledge in uh, many clinical disciplines because the patients coming to you, the symptoms of these uh, patients, it can uh, vary from uh, maybe cardiac, respiratory, dermatology, neurological complaints. So therefore, you need to have an idea of all the common uh, diseases in all these clinical disciplines. Uh, so therefore, uh, next slide, please. Can I have the next slide? Can I have this next slide, please? Yeah, so uh, right now, how do you become a general practitioner? So now, about 20, 30 years ago, just by setting up a, a family practice, uh, doctors used to call themselves a GP. Well, uh, I must emphasize on the fact that it's not so anymore. Uh, there's a set of uh, postgraduate qualifications that you need to have uh, to be considered as a general practitioner or a family physician in Sri Lanka now. So let's look at what are the, uh, let's look at the postgraduate qualifications available here. So, of course, you need to have your basic medical degree with the SLMC registration. And then we have the postgraduate qualifications offered by the College of General Practitioners of Sri Lanka, the uh, postgraduate diploma in general practice. And also we have the postgraduate diploma in family medicine offered by the PGIM and the MD in family medicine by clinical examination. And also the MD in family medicine by thesis, again, offered by the PGIM and also the international qualification, which is the MRCGP International. So uh, let's look at uh, each of these qualifications and let's see how we can obtain these, uh, each of these qualifications in order to become a qualified G. So the MCGP is a postgraduate diploma awarded by the College of General Practitioners. And it's a qualification which is recognized and also registered by the SLMs, which is not awarded by PGIM. It's a two-year course uh, done by the Faculty of Teachers uh, of the College of General Practitioners. And the final exam is conducted by the Board of Study of the College. 
uh, and uh, to be uh, to apply for the postgraduate uh, course, you need to have evidence in uh, and two years experience in general practice. And I must say that the MCGP uh, postgraduate diploma is uh, one of the few postgraduate courses in Sri Lanka which has an active and an ongoing mentoring program where each trainee is given a mentor to follow the course. So talking a little bit about the College of General Practitioners, it was incorporated by a parliamentary law in 1974. And now we have a membership of more than 400 GPs all around the island. And the associate membership is uh, given to doctors with uh, in general practice. And the membership of the college is awarded to doctors who uh, complete the MCGP postgraduate course. And also we have our annual academic sessions along with the pre-Congress, post-Congress, and also we have two orations where uh, doctors and the GP sending uh, can submit their free papers and uh, to uh, encourage research among the GPs. Uh, we have all these academic programs going on. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, talking about the committees of the College of General Practitioners, uh, first of all, uh, it's a medical education committee. We have our CPD programs on a monthly basis to update the uh, GPs around the island and also the mentoring program. Again, I would like to say that each trainee who uh, registers for the MCGP postgraduate course is given a mentor to guide them along this uh, two-year course. And it's a very active mentoring program. And also we have the NCD committee uh, and also the Communicable Disease Committee, which is very active these days. Uh, uh, they are in the process of making guidelines for home care uh, for COVID patients. So like that, we have several other committees also and the research committee where they encourage uh, GPs to do their research work. Uh, and then uh, the next uh, postgraduate qualification uh, would be, uh, can I have the next slide please? The Sri Lankan Family Physician is our uh, official publication of the College of uh, GPs. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah, so uh, the next uh, postgraduate qualification is the uh, Diploma in Family Medicine, the DFM offered by the uh, PGIM. And uh, some years ago, there, we had the postgraduate diploma in family medicine online as well. And the, uh, now, of course, we have the in-service training program uh, that is also uh, a one-year uh, program, whereas the online program was a two-year course. And uh, that also uh, is a, a postgraduate uh, course offered by the PGIM to all the uh, doctors in the ministry, health ministry as well as in the private sector. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, next is the MD in Family Medicine, again offered by the PGIM. Uh, we have the MD in Family Medicine by clinical examination and also the MD in Family Medicine by thesis. So uh, this, uh, the MD in Family Medicine by thesis is for, it's only for the full-time GPs and there is no selection exam for that. It's a research degree, whereas the MD in Family Medicine by clinical examination is uh, so, with a selection exam and uh, you have to have SLMC registration and one year post internship experience to sit for the selection examination. It consists of MCQ paper and a OSCE paper. And then you're selected for this uh, MD in uh, family medicine. At the moment, uh, we have a, a, about around 20 consultant family physicians working around the island. And next uh, is the uh, foreign qualification, that is the MRCGP International. And uh, next slide, please. Can I have the next slide, please? So the MRCGP International is also, uh, it's supported by the Royal College of uh, GPs and it's for GPs of the South Asian uh, region. It's also recognized by the Australian College of GPs. And again, uh, regarding the eligibility criteria, you need to have evidence of general practice and uh, which is uh, certified by the local crediting organization. Here in Sri Lanka, it is the College of General Practitioners and also the, or you need to have completed the DFM or you need to be in a training program in family medicine. Of course, uh, the, it also has uh, several components. 
And I'm uh, proud to say that uh, the MRCGP International also, the Board of Study, uh, most of the Sri Lankan GPs are in the Board of Study and our GPs have reached up to the international level. Uh, so this is the uh, foreign international qualification related to general practice or family medicine. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah, so Wonka is the world organization of uh, family doctors or for GPs. It is the world uh, organization which is uh, related to general practitioners and uh, family physicians all over the world. So it's also governed by a world council and it spans uh, the all seven regions of the world and uh, direct membership of Wonka is given for all our Sri Lankan GPs. And I'm proud to say that uh, we've had several Wonka presidents uh, from Sri Lanka. Several of our GPs have been uh, president of uh, Wonka in the past years. And the next uh, Wonka president is also going to be from Sri Lanka. So as you could see, um, the Wonka uh, has uh, the move, and there's a movement for the young doctors in all regions of the world. And for South Asian region, it's the Spice Root Movement. And at the uh, moment, the Spice Root uh, Movement chair is also from Sri Lanka. And these uh, young doctors movements all over the world we have the fm 360 program where we have exchange programs uh, between these regions for the gps the young gps working in sri lanka so as you all can see family medicine we have reached out to the international level and have uh, uh, achieved the highest positions in the uh, world organization as well and we keep on uh, uh, for example next year we are the Wonka president is going to be from our country. So the, uh, the GPs, the general practitioners or the family physicians of Sri Lanka, I think have reached to the international level. Uh, therefore, I think it's uh, a good field for the young doctors uh, who are uh, here today. So I invite all of you to uh, consider taking up uh, family medicine as uh, your uh, next uh, profit as your career pathway. And uh, regarding balancing family life and your career, I think uh, if you uh, manage time properly, it's a field where you do get time to spend. Sorry, I think we have uh, lost the connection from Dr. Delini. Good luck and all the best to you. Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Delini. We have a few questions to you. Uh, one is that, uh, how do we get the two years working experience? Uh, so if, yes, if you, uh, it's, it's like this, if you're working in a, uh, let's say a government, uh, hospital as an OPD doctor for two years, or if you have your own practice and if, uh, or if you have worked under a GP for two years, all these options can be considered as a uh, as your general practice experience or in a private hospital if you have worked as a opd doctor for two years or in a primary care unit uh, what books are to be referred for md family medicine program we have the uh, the main the most important book is the murtag's uh, family physician and also the oxford handbook of uh, family medicine are the main books uh, used by most of the trainees and of course, we have the, the College of GPs have the uh, Family Medicine uh, by uh, Professor Nandani De Silva. That's a book which is used for even for DFM as well as the MD Family Medicine. And regarding the two years diploma, uh, is asking whether it is an uh, on, online course from wherever, yeah, whether they can do uh, it online. Uh, that is the two year diploma course offered by the College of GPs. No, it's not an online course. Uh, we have classes every other Sunday. Uh, it's a two-year course and it's uh, not an online course, but just that during the pandemic where we, when we were not able to have classes, we had a few online classes, but it's not an online course. And they're asking where will be the MD Family Medicine graduated consultants appointed? Appointed to, is it? Yeah, 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 where, where will we get, get posted? Is there any card in the government service or there to be in the, yes, at the moment? Yes, yeah, yeah, there, there are primary care units all over the island. 
and uh, the postings are done uh, done to these uh, private primary care units and also we have the family medicine departments in the uh, faculties yes uh, then we have a final question do we have online courses for md family medicine selection exam uh, no no there are no online uh, courses right. Okay, then uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Gilini Baranagi, for sharing your experience. That uh, brings thank us you. to the end of the today's program.